Hey guys, um, so I am coming to you with a question and hopefully it's not too divisive. I know there are plenty of people in the community and on YouTube who don't count calories and think that's a big part of the reason that they got the surgery, that they won't have to count calories and that's awesome um, and I really support that. For me personally, I feel like counting calories, it goes hand in hand with counting protein. I mean, I just enter everything out as far as people and, you know, my nutritionist obviously gave me a guideline. And for me, it's like, it's just part of it. I think I'd make myself more crazy if I wasn't counting calories or if I was trying to, you know, eat until I'm satisfied at every meal and let that be, like, the only gauge of how I was doing or something. Um, not to, like, whatever, explain it, like, whatever works for everyone. But my nutritionist told me, you know, for the first month, 550 to 700 calories is my range. And that was pretty easy to stick within. Um, and the biggest thing was, you know, getting 60 grams of protein, sometimes I would be full for the day or whatever, wouldn't really feel like eating, but would have to have another shake at night. Um, but pretty much my calories were always around 600. And I had asked her, well, after the first month, you know, what's a good range then? And she didn't want to give me a number. And she was like, you know, well, that really depends on how fast the weight is coming off and we'll meet later, you know, obviously if you're at three months and if the weight loss has slowed a lot, we'll talk about what the range should be and blah, blah, blah. But I definitely have noticed in the past week that I can eat more. And like I knew that would happen. Um, but you know, yesterday is a good example. Like because my energy is back up, I'm kind of into some of my old habits of being really busy and working long days and not packing a lunch. And it's just so stupid. So, you know, on Friday, I went to work, didn't have had my protein, no, I didn't have my protein shake, went to work, had like yogurt for breakfast. You know, it was really gross weather out. I hadn't packed a lunch. So instead of having tuna fish salad for 20 grams of protein and 70 calories, I had an energy bar for 20 grams of protein and 240 calories. Um, and then there was my holiday party and I made a quiche. So I had a tiny little piece of quiche, which is four grams of protein, but like 200 calories almost. Whatever, I just like added up the whole day and I was sort of flying by the seat of my pants, which is like the biggest stupidity. But I came home and I put everything in Spark People and I'd have like 850 calories, which I know obviously is really little, um, but it's, the most I've had, like I hadn't been over 700 calories since I started this. And what's weird, I mean, it was weird that I ate 850 and I was like a little bit upset about it, especially because I hadn't had enough protein in the day. So I was at like 770 when I realized, well, I have to have a protein shake now. And that's what really pushed me up to like 840. But what was most upsetting was most upsetting was that it didn't really feel any different than a day when I was having 500 calories. So I can definitely tell that I'm like eating more. But you know, then when I sit down today, I had, I'm going to have to have some more protein. It's like 930, but I've only had 400 calories today. And like today feels kind of like yesterday felt, but I had half as many calories. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I know that that will fluctuate and I know that that's normal, but I feel like, I guess my question is just how many calories are you guys eating in a day? Or did you nutritionist give you any sort of range? Because I feel like I am going to drive myself crazy if I am sticking to 550 to 700 still is my range, but then if that's silly. Do you know what I mean? Like if it's, oh, once you are a little bit further out, which I'm only seven weeks out, you know, but once you're a little bit out, you should, you know, 800 is fine. Don't worry about it. Or 600 to 800 or 700 to 900, you know what I mean? Whatever it is. But if it is like 550 to 700, then I want to know that too, because I can get 60 grams of protein eating less than 850 calories a day. And I just don't want to slip into my old habits of like, you know, it all goes together. Like the day that I am my old self of like just flying through the day, grabbing things as they come, like making healthier choices, obviously. Like I didn't have any cookies at the holiday party, but like I was not hungry for that quiche. You know what I mean? Like, and if I had had an afternoon snack instead of that quiche of my normal cheese stick, you know, just all of that, like, blah, 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 blah. Um, I mean, I hope I don't sound like a total nut job. It's not that I'm, like, 
constantly calculating everything, but I just feel like for all of my worry about, I just, I don't want to be one of those people who like a year from now is kind of the same weight and like, because I have the same habits, you know? I really want to change my habits and I want to be healthier. And part of that is, I know, planning and part of that is getting in all my protein. And I feel like the calories is going to be something that, like, is driving me crazy if I'm not sure if I'm, like, failing, quote, unquote, by eating 850 or if that's within the range. Um, so my nutritionist is being tight-lipped. So if you wouldn't mind posting in the comments if your nutritionist is giving you any sort of guidelines or just what you eat in a normal day if you do count your calories. You know, if it's 500 to 800 or whatever it is that you consider your normal, normal, normal day. Be awesome. Okay, sorry this one is like so ranty, but I'm just like, I need to know. You know, I'm really curious. Um, and weight loss surgery for dummies, my go-to Bible of like everything. Of course, it's like every nutritionist is different. So. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well, and I'm excited to hear some answers, so please do comment. Okay, bye.